this video has multiple opportunities from multiple companies so it's like a very big thing for you so i'm so happy to make this video today we are going to see not just one company recruitment but we are going to see two big recruitment uh, opportunities that is from two giant mncs two unicorn companies that is infosys and accenture so it's been like a uh, quite a long time that we have not done you know more than one company recruitment in a video it's like mostly we focus on one recruitment that's one one thing but this is like having multiple opportunity this video has multiple opportunities from multiple companies so it's like a very big thing for you please watch the video till the end all the details i'm going to include in this video and one more thing uh today i'm going to be uh, restarting the vhdl course a lot of people are asking where is the rest of the course where is the uh, rest of the videos we want to do the course and things like that so i'm going to be uh, restarting the course uh, again uh, on our youtube so please wait for that also job updates will be continued and also along with that vhdl we are going to start another important thing i want to mention is that python is one of the biggest recruitment um, you know not recruitment one of the biggest requirement of core companies and it companies both sectors we are going to start a job oriented course on python as well so please wait for all these things please keep the support okay let's start with the accenture recruitment accenture is hiring for trust and safety new associate hyderabad is the location it's a full-time job opportunity skills needed is platform data operations uh, operation management that is basically going to be your work uh, description designation is new associate you are going to be working as a new associate here qualification is any graduation year of experience is zero to one years let's see the details here show more uh, they have given a brief about the company that is Accenture. What you will do is you will enable a superior band uh, experience. Uh, what are we looking for? Adaptable and flexible, agil uh, agility for quick learning, commitment to quality, strong analytical skill, ability to work well in a team. Yeah, that's only the thing. Like some of the soft skills or some of the professional uh, behaviors is required. That's the only requirement here. There is nothing like coding. There is uh, no requirement of any programming language knowledge, any certification, any specific year of pass out or anything. If you have a graduation, if you are having uh, just a graduation with any year of pass out, you can apply here. They have posted this job opportunity just seven days before. It's a very latest opportunity to apply. Let's move on to the next set of recruitments again from Accenture itself. They are hiring for system and application service associate. Uh, that is one uh, job. It is available for multiple locations, Mangaluru, Hyderabad, Chennai, Coimbatore, Gurgaon, uh, Pune, Kolkata, Nagpur, Indore, Mumbai, Jaipur. So it's like a pan India recruitment happening for system and application service associate. It is a coding job. Uh, requirement is known engineering uh, sorry, it's a, it's not a, uh, yeah, non-engineering graduate and postgraduate such as BSc, BCA, BBA, BA, BCom, etc. Except engineering streams. Okay, you guys, uh, like this is not a coding job. It's like a non-coding job. Yeah, system and application service associate is a non-coding job actually. Sorry, that's my mistake. Uh, any year of pass out until 2024 is eligible for this opportunity. That's like a great thing to do okay no active backlogs during the application uh, you should have completed your relevant degree uh, candidate should not have appeared for exchanger recruitment assessment candidate should not have more than 23 months of full-time experience uh, candidate must be eligible to work in india by citizenship uh, as we provide service for our clients across the globe candidate should be willing to work in the business unit should be willing to join whichever location around India that's a great thing okay system and application service associate is the title they are asking for zero month to 11 years so if you are absolutely freshers you are eligible to apply the process of selection is also mentioned here there is a mock assessment there is assessment one then assessment two assessment one is mostly like thinking English ability problem solving abstract reasoning those things assessment two is technical uh, assessment then uh, it's again on english ability critical thinking abstract reasoning common uh, application pseudo code etc assessment three is communication test yeah so that is one job opportunity now if you go to the home and if you uh, just scroll on the career page you can see 
there is another opportunity that is available for the package app development uh, associate you can also see other job opportunities here foreign language uh, tech foreign language non tech application development associate pwd a lot of applications or job opportunities are available here so we have seen this one now system and application service associate let's see the uh, package app development it is a coding job okay now they have more opportunities or more locations for which this is available bangalore hyderabad pune mumbai chennai gurgaon uh, gurgram kolkata uh, indor jaipur coimbatore ahmedabad bhuvaneswar uh, salary they have not mentioned 0 to 11 uh, months or one year 11 months is uh, the requirement here eligibility criteria they have mentioned is minimum criteria any engineering streams so before one was like non engineering this is engineering any engineering stream, BB Tech, MEM Tech, MCA, MSE, any year of pass out till 2024 is eligible. Okay. Yeah, so that is a very big uh, opportunity. Now, this one is actually having no specific year of pass out. Any year of pass out is eligible for that one. So, this is for uh, people till 2024 is eligible. Now, no active backlogs during the application and or during uh, onboarding. Candidate should not have 23 months of experience. Candidate should not have completed relevant degree. Uh, please note that Bhutan and Nepal uh, nationals can work in India without a need of obtaining work visa. So, that uh, nationals are also eligible. Process of selection is mock assessment, assessment 1, technical assessment, uh, assessment 2, coding assessment. It is a coding job. So, you need to complete coding assessment. That's assessment 2. You have to select two questions from these given languages, C, C++, .NET, Java, Python. Assessment 3 is communication assessment. Yeah. So, that is all about the Accenture recruitment. Let's jump to the Infosys recruitment now. Next one is a recruit. Uh, yeah, so next one is a recruitment opportunity from Infosys. We have seen that, uh, like, as I have told you, this is like a club clubbing video of Accenture and Infosys recruitment. Uh, okay, so I have already registered with my email ID. I'll be posting this link in the description. If you are um, being, there is a, if uh, there is a, you know, a table or something pops up to put your email ID or your name, just give like that. So this is a uh, recruitment happening for the specialist programmer. You can get up to 13 lakhs per annum uh, salary. Bangalore is the work location. This is the survey form that uh, generally enforces use for all the recruitments. Uh, there is gender details, first name, last name, uh, email ID. Uh, you have to upload your recent photograph. You have to upload your resume, preferred contact number, alternate contact number, date of birth citizenship and also they are asking do you have passport then there is address for communication address line one two pin code then after completing all this just go to the next page the next page is mostly having uh, the details for uh, uh, the education employment all those things so fill up all the details and then yeah apply for that so this is again another bulk recruitment that is happening from infosys so all the application links i'll be putting in the description please um, uh, go to the description link and you can get all the details and wait for that VHDL video uh, after some time. That's all for today's video. I'm really hoping that you found the content useful. If yes, please give a thumbs up. Please uh, support the channel, subscribe to it, share the videos. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.